Well, from birds to bugs, and not just household bugs, but like exotic <laughs> bugs. A new exhibit at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science is exploring all things creepy and crawly. Yeah, well, exotic bugs are the best kind, right? Yeah. Uh, not just flies. Uh, we have kids. <laughs> Danny New uh, is here to tell us about this, so we'll probably be taking them. I mean, mine. I know mine are not scared of bugs. Mine, my, love my, it. mine, mine was mine whipping love a it. snake around in the backyard <laughs> this week. It's, it's springtime, yeah. Gross. <laughs> Can't stand them all, but I get it. Kids like them. It's a great avenue to get them into science, to learn more about it. That interest yeah. you should foster, it's important. For me, disgusting. <laughs> anyway, let's take a trip to this, uh, the Denver Museum of Nature and Science this exhibit that is called Bugs. Mmm, an mm -hmm. entire room of Ooh. them. And they make sure to zoom Ooh. in as much as possible so you can see every fiber of a bug's face. Isn't that great? Mm. So yeah. impressive, it's mesmerizing. Your kids are gonna be so fascinated by it. But for me, it's like seeing your favorite 1940s movie star in HD for the first time. Yeah. But instead of Bing Crosby, uh, it's a black widow and it's a hornet. And not it's actual size. Not, uh, yeah. Oh, that looks fun though. Yeah, so that's a bombardier beetle. <laughs> they have uh, acidic farts that actually <laughs> scare away predators. Kind of like see humans. See what all you're learning? <laughs> see, I know I learned yes. a lot, so I can't talk. And they have real bugs like cockroaches. Uh, and then there's this man who loves bugs more than anybody I know. He is a museum entomologist. His name is Dr. Frank Krell, and he's a German scientist, and he likes this stuff a lot more than I do. <laughs> so what are we looking at here, Dr. Frank? We are looking at the orchid mantis, a big model of the orchid mantis, of course, because normally it's smaller. Yeah, I've and noticed you've made it gigantic. Yeah. It was yeah. not something I was hoping to find in my life, was a yeah, giant orchid right. mantis. That's right, and that wouldn't be able to survive because it has an exoskeleton with all the goo inside. Gravity would... Goo. Yeah. So this is a a predecessor of modern dragonflies. 300 million years ago, they were a little bit bigger. This is the original size. So they would fly around very efficiently and uh, probably not hunt you down, but something else that is bigger than normal dragonflies today would hunt down. You know what? God bless that asteroid. But this water bug is native here. It's a native Colorado water bug. And what's, what's and the stinger thing? That's what I'm scared about. Well, they hunt little animals. They hunt tadpoles, they hunt other water insects, they hunt even little fish. And then they stuck this thing in the prey and insert some saliva in, and then uh, the prey dissolves a little bit and uh, dissolves. Sucks. Yeah, yeah. That's, the organism uh, yeah. dissolves. Yeah. Like Splenda. Yeah. And then it sucks it in. Dr. I, Frank, why? I could watch him creep you out all day. Yeah. Thank he you. is I could not. so good at that. I love, I love him <laughs> so much. And he discovered this <gasps> bug, a beetle, at the museum, and then he realized it was being mislabeled, so he named it after Sir David Attenborough, his favorite nature documentary oh, narrator. Wow. He, got the he got it published, it's officially named after him, and then they exchanged letters about it, and they talked about it. And uh, I have the Latin name written here for you guys. He told me it. it's Pulcha Duritidu Attenborough. <laughs> that is the official Latin name of this beetle <laughs> that he discovered. Big beetle. And uh -huh. is now a, a, an official beetle. Yeah. Cool. So, yeah. You know, did, well, did you like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids when they have the big oh, ant? Oh, don't bring that up. Okay. That is yeah. a traumatizing <laughs> Yeah, that was a sad me. moment, right? Yeah. In, in okay. Well, he dies. So they're yeah. in the grass. <laughs> they have this best friend that's an ant. I'm five years old. <laughs> and then suddenly this scorpion comes out, and it's yeah. an versus scorpion. They're making me deal with death at five years old. You know what, Nicole? I think you just unpacked why I hate bugs so much. Is that specific <laughs> no, that was it. And then, honey, I shrunk the kids. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, Danny. Didn't, mean to, didn't mean to bring that up. Oh. They, uh, it's too cold for yeah, bugs today, exactly. Lisa. It's Colorado. <laughs> we don't have that many, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm okay with every bug but cockroaches. That's fair. They Ugh. have those at the exhibit, though. You know. Thanks, though.